Looks like someone's in dire need of coffee. Hell yeah! Here you are. Thanks. This gonna hit the spot. You know, you're not like those other suits, Miss McPherson. You okay in my book. What do we have, the usual? Yeah, the same old shit. Anonymous phone call, no witnesses, and another dead girl. This one more banged up than the others. When I got here, I figured it was your perp's work, so I didn't bother reporting it to everyone. I, I just called Miller. Besides you, who got here first? Miller did, about ten minutes ago. Claire followed a few minutes later. Where's the crime scene? The crime scene is through the entrance, up the stairs and to your right. Miller will be the chicken shit leaning up against the fridge. Miss McPherson, be careful in there. I need a tetanus shot just looking at this place. So, are you the human popsicle yet? Can you believe this fucking weather? I mean, shit! It was 60 yesterday! And can you believe all this goddamn snow, too? Look at this shit! You know how hard it was getting here? Miller got here first, huh? Did he do it again? Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, Claire is pissed as hell, too. She threw him out into the hallway. Well, okay. I guess I'll head up and see how Miller's doing. Okay, Agent McPherson. You watch yourself in there. I can't leave now. I still have work to do. Where's the crime scene again? It's on the second floor. Miller's waiting for you in the hall. You remind me of when I was at the academy. One day I decided to run the obstacle course after lunch. I lost everything, even my breakfast. It was a gruesome mash of pizza and French toast. If you're trying to help me, it's not working. Here you are. It might make things pass more... smoothly? 
Oh, then again, maybe not. So what can you tell me? It's our guy's work, all right. The victim's in an old bathtub. She's stuck in ice. I couldn't see much. Thank God. So where's Claire? Old Indian saying, follow stench. Find little pale-faced fat woman. Christ, Miller. I'm really not in the mood. Sorry. She's in the bathroom. Follow the hallway to the end, and it's the door to your left. She's working near the body. I think she needs you to take a look at the rest of the apartment. Here, take the camera. Claire doesn't want me around, so you're gonna have to take pictures, too. Wonderful. Miller, you're going to have to stop trying. You and dead bodies don't mix. I suggest you wait for us next time. We can't risk any more donut-contaminated crime scenes. Yes, I will, Agent McPherson. Oh, by the way, stop with the Agent McPherson, please. Just plain Victoria is fine, all right? Will do, Victoria. Just out of morbid curiosity, where did the Martians land this time? I hurled in the toilet. Can we change the subject? Jeez, that would bring you to 2 and 0. Oh. Claire must be very happy right now. Actually, no, she isn't. I think she wants to kill me. She threatened to tie me to your 4x4 four four and drag me through the streets. Take it easy. See you in a bit. Better leave him be. Lucy, you have some splaining to do. Forensic lamp. This enables us to have a better look around. With the right filter, of course. Weird, a clean spot in such a messy place. Blood. Probably belongs to the victim. This is a nice pile of junk. Blood. Probably belongs to the victim. Someone used this nail as a coat hanger. <laughs> nice Christmas decorations. It's Claire's briefcase. She carries her stuff around in that. Hello, Clarice. So, what's all the fuss about? Let's see. I have an idiot who throws up at a crime scene. I'm understaffed because I'm the only one crazy enough to work during the holidays. I'm freezing my butt off. The body is stuck in ice. And what else? This might actually help. Coffee? Yes, please. It's no wonder you are my best student. What can I do to help? Have a look around and gather any evidence that you can find. I've wasted enough time getting this body ready for the meat wagon. You know how they can get pissy. Anyway, I thought I saw some blood stains as I came in. You can start by collecting some of that and then look around for more. Remember, always take a picture before you collect something. To help you out, grab the forensic tools from my briefcase and what's left of the kitchen. Once you've collected the evidence, come and help me out in here. You do know I'm a field agent, right? I think this is a little out of my league. Vic McPherson is out of her league? This is a first? Where did that come from? I don't know. I think I need a vacation. Sweetie, you can't always catch them on the first three victims. I know, I know. Hey, maybe you should take it easy with Miller. Take it easy? This is the second time I have to go through his vomit to see if there's any evidence hidden in the pile. Take it easy? No, I don't think so. Thanks for helping out. My pleasure, Clarice.
I'll stop that. Where are the forensic tools again? I think you need coffee more than me. The tools are in my briefcase on the counter in the kitchen. Maybe I should start looking for clues. It's not getting a sample by dipping my finger in it. I need a tool. I need to take a picture before I take samples. It would help if I loaded the camera with film first. cleaned up after himself. Can't see anything in this sort of light. I need a tool before I can use this properly. The fuck? The fuck? I saw more evidence that still needs to be collected.
Bingo, we've got hair and fiber samples. I can't use my hands to collect these. All done and neatly packed. Great. Thanks a lot, sweetie. So, what's next? I need some shots of the body before we move things around and disrupt the original crime scene. Okay. So, what can you tell me so far? Not much right now. Probably like the other four. Cause of death is drowning, but I'll make it official after the autopsy. She was stabbed numerous times and she was eviscerated. Nothing indicates a struggle or resistance on the part of the victim. My guess is she was unconscious during the stage of the assault. Can you walk me through what happened here? Not now. I'd rather do preliminary lab work first and also analyze the evidence you picked up. I'll give you a briefing when I finish a few tests. Okay. I think you can remove the cloth from her face now. Ah, oh, you spoil me. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the tattoo work on her skin. This girl liked pain. I have a feeling she's a pro. I don't know why. Just call it a hunch. Which would be a first according to the killer's MO and profile. I'll run the victim's name through the database to see if we hit something. What's her name? According to the ID in her purse, it's Cynthia Woods. Now can you take her picture without the rag on her face? Do you still need me here? Not really. I just enjoy the company. But I can see you'd rather be somewhere else. Listen, I can handle things here on my own till the boys get here. Anyhow, you look tired as hell. Oh, thanks for letting me off the hook. But seriously, if you need me, I'll stay. It's fine, sweetie, really. You're not completely off the hook. I'll see you back at the morgue for my briefing. I wouldn't miss it for the world. See you soon. Did you really threaten to tie Miller to my 4x4 and... Yes, I did. And I will, too. Hey, I don't doubt it. My God, she was badly beaten. I'm not going to peek in there. I don't want to pull a Miller. Multiple stab wounds in the chest area. Nice tattoo. I might get me one of those. Like I said, she liked pain. Scarification tattooing on the arm. The office. What? I got you. Do you like them? Oh, sorry. Hey, everybody, hurry! We're okay. There's no way I'm going down that way. I'm going to have to look for another way out of here. <laughs> 
Okay, I'll wait here in case Claire decides to go down or someone tries to come up. absolutely love what they've done here. The view is just super. Good idea. All I need now is something to pry these boards off. that noise the stairs fell apart if you're planning on leaving don't take the stairs I'm trying to find another way out oh great now how the hell are we supposed to get the body out of here I don't know you guys will figure it out It looks like I'm going to have to do this the hard way. Man, that smarts. God, Miller, are you okay? <laughs> Do you think he's okay? Yeah. <laughs> he's fine. There is no way I'm going up there. Thank God I'm not driving that piece of crap.
the lock to our archives section. I don't have permission to go there. That's weird. My access code doesn't work. My god, it stinks in there. Miss December, wow. Even God would say, I didn't make those. A reanimator deck. They're wicked. To find out who the gunman was behind the grassy knoll, please call 555-1963. Now that's tasteless. I never use mixed public washrooms. They're just too... Icky. boss's office. It's locked, of course. It's a paper cutter. This is used to lift fingerprints. A plastifier. This little machine can be very practical. Why did you take so long getting here? You're the only one with a 4x4. Four four. Christ, I don't even want to go there. I mean, what is it with these idiots who buy 20 lottery tickets anyway? I mean, do they really have to waste everyone's time? God, they piss me off. I just wanted a pack of gum, too. Hey, last time I saw you, you were limping to your car. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just my ego. It got hurt more than me, I think. So what are you up to? I started the report. I figured you were too pooped to do it. You know, Miller, you do have your moments. Anything I can do to help with the report? Actually, yes. I need Claire's preliminary report to help me out. I'm not going down there. She might lock me up in one of the drawers and leave me there. Also, I need the pictures you took, so could you please drop the camera in the evidence chute in the hallway? Oh, I almost forgot. Is everything okay with your girlfriend? Oh yeah, forget about it. She knows now it's a big misunderstanding. But just don't answer my cell phone again, please. I promise. Well, okay, see you later. Hey, thanks a lot for doing the report. My pleasure, Agent Mc... <clears throat> I mean, uh, Victoria. I have a message. Hello, Victoria. <clears throat> this is Todd. I heard about the fifth murder. I expect a full report on my desk tomorrow morning. Yes, you would. Wouldn't you?
Maybe I should call your girlfriend and tell her how wonderful you are. Dead man walking! Where's the damn evidence shoot again? It's in the hallway to your right, near the elevator. It's my boss's coffee mug. Should I? Nah. I never work without coffee. Of course, when it comes to this coffee, I'll make an exception. I have no use for napkins. It's the evidence shoot. Agent McPherson. Officer Tate? Agent Ashby wants to see you. She's waiting for you at the morgue. All right. So, how did you guys get the body down? Me and some of the forensic guys set up a ladder where the stairs fell. Oh, well, I hope no one got hurt. Nope, I know what y'all mean, though. That place was as stable as lemmings near a cliff.
I need an access card. This is probably Claire's report, but I'll hear what she has to say before I take it. I could see if I had some metachlorians in my blood. My god, that was weak. Hey Claire, get that preliminary lab work done? As a matter of fact, I'm not quite finished. However, I have enough to brief you on if you have the time. For you, always. Okay, here goes. The victim's blood revealed high levels of alcohol. Also, I found traces of rohypnol, which is also known as the date rape drug. This explains why there was no apparent struggle throughout the assault. The assault started in the first room where she was beaten. She probably fell when you found the spot of blood. She was then carried into the next room. The killer ripped off her clothes and beat her again. She definitely was unconscious at this point. He let her bleed on the floor until he had enough blood to write the messages you found using the luminol. The killer then cleaned off the messages. Obviously, he knew we would find them. He then dragged the victim by her hair, along the hallway, and stopped to hang up his coat. He finally brought her into the bathroom. The cause of death was drowning. He forced her head under the water until death ensued. Like the other victims, she was killed before the mutilations. She was stabbed nine times, and then eviscerated from the lower sternum to the lower abdomen. What are you thinking? I'm thinking these mutilations will get worse. It wasn't part of his MO for the first three victims. They were found beaten and drowned, not like this. Do you think he'll change his MO in the near future? No, I don't think so. Drowning his victims seems to be his focus. That stage in the assault is very important to him. No, the stabbing business is from something else. I have a feeling that if we knew what it was, we would catch the son of a bitch. Also, he covered the face of the fourth victim and now this one. This strongly suggests that he knew the last two victims. I'll ask Miller to correlate the last two victims' info. How about you? Did you come up with anything interesting? Yes, I got a partial that doesn't belong to the victim. Very nice. Did you compare it to the partial you found from the fourth crime scene? No, not yet, but I'll let you know if I can compare them. After all, they are only partials. What about the stuff I found? Anything worth mentioning? We know that our killer has black hair, if it was he that hung his coat on the nail. It might have been a junkie for all we know, but it doesn't matter. We can use the hair for DNA comparison and place him at the scene of the crime. I sent the fibers to the FBI labs to see if they can find anything unusual or unique about them. I've been meaning to ask you, did you call her? Call? Oh, no, I didn't. I just don't have the courage. Can we not talk about this now? Sure. But promise me that you will call her. Okay, okay, I promise. Okay, sweetie, I'm out of here. Don't forget my beautifully handwritten report. It's on the table. Don't you think that your Christmas decorations are a little too festive? No, why? Wouldn't they be better on this wall? Sweetie, just take the report to Miller.
Like you said, it's great handwriting. Which Egyptologist do I call to decipher this? Isn't it Miller's problem? Yes, actually, it is. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Only now she gets it. Hello? Hi, sweetheart. Hey, Dad. I just heard on the news. Another one? Yes, another one. Is everything okay with you? I'm okay. I'm just really tired of this case. It's going nowhere fast. I hate this passiveness. I think it's starting to get the better of me. Well, before that actually happens, why don't you come here and rest? A little R&R &R won't do you any harm. You can use the jacuzzi to relax and put your thoughts in order. And it's almost Christmas. I have a little gift for you. Oh, really? Well, I have the gift you wanted. Are you sure you want it? It seems a little ordinary. Hey, it's what I wanted. So, are you coming to the house? Yeah, sure. Okay, honey. I'll see you soon. Dad? Yes, honey? Thanks. You're more than welcome. See you in a bit. Bye. Yes, I... No, well... Yes, I know, but... Taking a breather? Yeah, it's the damn weather. It's depressing as hell. I need to gather more energy before I go back out there. You're still on patrol? Unfucking fortunately yes. yeah. Well, hang in there. I'll try. No. No. Yes, I... Here's Claire's report. Hey, Miller, one last thing. Can you correlate the data of the fourth victim and the fifth to see if we're overlooking something? Sure. I'll run them through the database. Thanks for the report. Yes, I... I better leave Miller alone. No, it looks well... like he's got his hands full. Yes, I know, but... Yes, but... Dad? I'm in here, sweetheart. Hi, Dad. Hi, Pumpkin. Are you sure about this gift? Yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. Suit yourself, here you are. Thanks, sweetheart. You know me. I love these things. Now yours. Where did you get this? I thought we lost it. I found it when I was cleaning out the attic. 
Actually, it was inside your grandfather's chest. You should maybe take a look inside there. It'll take you back. I will. Thanks for the gift, Dad. I had a feeling you'd like it. Remember the stories he used to tell us? How can I forget? My favorite one was Paris, because of the occult twist he brought to it. Yours was the one in London, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, romantic and mysterious. There is one story he always avoided telling me, though. The one when he met Grandma. He never would talk about it. Was it not a fond memory? I'm sure it is, Pumpkin. But he could never talk about it. I think your grandfather lost someone close to him when he met your grandmother. And I guess it was too painful for him to recall. Where'd he meet Grandma? He met her in Prague, I believe. Speaking of your grandmother, this year, can you get around to making her special holiday cookies? Please? I knew that was coming. Oh, they don't take long to make. I know, I'll make some, don't worry. Great, the stuff is already on the counter. What a surprise. I'm gonna have a look in the attic. Might bring back some good memories. Okay, sweetheart, I'll be in here. Dad, did you happen to find my old box in the attic? No, sweetheart. I didn't find your memoric figurine. Damn. I haven't played in years. I probably suck now. Ah, Chianti Classico, molto bene! Okay, a great combo. A shot of ice-cold vodka, a glass of good red wine while dipping in the tub. <sighs> I'll get to that later. Maybe Dad's trying to send me a message. Uh, I'll do them later. I thought he was going to change these chairs. Each time I sit in one, it doesn't feel like I'm eating, but ruling a small country. I always look stupid in pictures, especially this one. This might be helpful to get up into the attic. I don't know why, but I never liked that painting. Dad's room? Why the hell would I go in there? One of my grandfather's old paintings. It's from when he was in Paris, I think. Teddy and I used to be inseparable. Ah yes, the trap door to the attic. I can't reach it. What was the trick to opening that thing again?
Prague, 1929. Two years had passed since the strange case in Paris. I figured I'd best leave town and come here, quieter or so I thought. The case in Paris had stirred my passion for PI work again. I had to let go of my dream of being an artist. It wasn't bringing in as much dough as being a private dick. In all, there were five dead and two unaccounted for. So far, all the victims were prostitutes. I didn't know if I would take the case. To my surprise, this cop Skalnik had no beef about me snooping around his crime scene. <laughs> 